Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have storage, residential, and mosque. This is just something that caught my eye in the last seven days. There's around 30, 40 mods maybe being released in the last seven days. So if you go and check out, you're definitely gonna find something nice for yourself. So let's get cracking. Ali Pasha Mosque from Equinox Nova. Now this is a really beautiful mosque from Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, as Equinox Nova usually makes, it's a highly detailed mod and it's high quality mod that you can find more details. I will leave, I will leave you to read about this. I will not go and read the description. Please go and check out the link in the description of the video. What I'm gonna say that this is something that I'm gonna be using probably from the next episode that I'm uh, that I'm recording. So this is really beautiful building. Um, for more details, uh, we have it costs eleven thousand five hundred rubles to make. As you can see here, we have the uh, materials required for this would be uh, six tons of steel, uh, 49 tons of bricks, 47 tons of bricks, and that's about it. So it's quite realistic price for a small building like that. We can compare it to some vanilla small buildings. It's several times uh, more expensive than the smallest residential uh, buildings, and they're more or less the same size. So big thumbs up, realistic mod, beautiful mod. Link in the description of the video. Next up, Karantuki and Corner Stalinka's Corner Shop. Uh, you have uh, that has so this is a set of five buildings: uh, Corner Shop, Corner Pharmacy, Corner Police Station, Corner Secret Police, and Corner Apartments. Uh, now we're gonna go and compare some of them. Of course, they're really, really beautiful buildings. We're gonna check the price in general, but they are more or less similar or the same building. But of course, they have different parking spaces, and uh, on the outside they look a little bit different uh, depending on what their purpose is. So, let's go check it out. Uh, if we go to our mod section, we can go and check out uh, how much it costs. You can see Stalinkas here. Um, they do cost 22,000 rubles, which is uh, a little bit more expensive than usual buildings of this size, residential buildings. So, if you go to your residential buildings, let's just check how what the uh, capacity is. 64. Uh, 64 people can live in this corner Stalinka, 64 would be something in the ballpark of these buildings which are way way cheaper than that. So quite realistic beautiful mod, also comes with the skins, for more details go and check the link in the description of the video. Aggregate storages by Robs 074 aggregate storages for 1000, 2000, 2500, 5000 tons of goods uh, there's a description in polish as well now this is a little bit on the pricier side but definitely really really beautiful so let's go and compare it to vanilla ones so this uh storages they cost between 14,000, 25,000 uh rubles and then you have 32,000 and 60,000 rubles for 5,000 ton now let's real quickly compare this to vanilla vanilla storage can be found in the conveyor belt section you can see here that vanilla is the bigger one 2000 ton is 24,000 rubles while the robs is one uh, in the same ballpark is a little bit more expensive so definitely you're gonna have to pay for these a little bit more than the vanilla ones but of course as robs makes it it's quite realistic in price and fairly priced a link in the description of the video Dry bulk silos by rob 074 dry bulk silos loosely based on a real building in Krakow Poland, they store 2,300 tons and 1,000 tons of goods. So there are two buildings, I built three of them, I have no idea why, but we're gonna check them real quickly. Oh, because they are different models here. So you can see uh, we have the one with the rail connection as well, uh, which is really, really useful. So three different buildings, there are, two of them are more or less the same, 2,300 tons at this advertised, and the other one is 1,000 tons. Now, if we try to compare these to vanilla ones, we're gonna have to go into the section over here. These are 43,000 rubles, uh, one of the vanilla ones, the other one is the uh, 52,000 rubles. Now, these are a little bit more affordable, especially the smaller ones, and they hold, a little bit less they are more more in the ballpark of these so you will pay a little bit less for it but again quite realistic in size and materials used so quite realistic mod link in description of the video 
We have Karantuki and 1940 Stalinka apartments, 5 story Stalinka and 8 story Stalinka. Now, Liki is a big fan of Stalinka, so of course, these come with uh, skins as well, that you can find in the link in the description of the video. And uh, Liki is a big fan of Stalinkas, they have 92 people and 146 people, respectively. Uh, really, really high detail and really beautiful model, as you can see over here. There's nothing I can complain about. The coloring is absolutely perfect, and I really, really like it. You even have the nice uh, rainwater collectors or pipes leading down the building. Anyway, compared to the vanilla buildings, first we're gonna check out the price, 14,000 and 19,000. I can tell you straight away that it is a little bit more expensive than the vanilla ones of the similar size. So we have this one of 10,438 people, as you can see, more or less similar to this one. And it's a taller and a bigger building. So the quality of the apartments also should be a little bit higher. 86 here and vanilla one is uh, 68 yes definitely uh, Stalinkas are a little bit more spacious buildings than uh, some of the prefab buildings that we have in later game anyway for more details link in the description of the video a little bit of artistic freedom we have anta lunette and two mods we're going to talk about mason tour first that's the building on the right now this is a really really beautiful building uh it houses over a thousand people 1164 people and the only thing we can compare this building with would be the huge building of dnipro that was released in the ukrainian dlc it's way way bigger than this one dnipro houses uh 600 people and this is the twice the amount almost the twice the amount that the Dnipro building has. It is more or less twice the size. Now let's go and compare the price of the building to this Dnipro building. So Dnipro building here is quite quite pricey, 153,000. Well, this one is 200,000. I would say because it's more expensive that it's fair uh, price. Of course, it's absolutely ginormous. Uh, let's see the materials that are needed to finish this building. It's uh, 126 tons of steel, uh, almost 1,200 tons of prefab panels. Maybe a little bit more steel wouldn't be the worst. So, I don't know. It is more the most expensive building compared to the vanilla ones. More expensive than the most expensive building. So, I think the price is kind of fair, but uh, you're going to come with other... We're going to have other problems when you build this big building. It need, you need to support all the workers. So, building this, something this big and expensive definitely comes with the challenge. Challenges. I would say that it's fairly priced. Link in the description of the video. Anta Lunette and Toblerone Porta Milot. Uh, there's a story behind this building. You're gonna have to go and read about it. But we're just gonna compare the building. It's similar to the in design as the previous one that we have. And there's also a pack mod that is not linked in this video, but you can find it released at the same time. There's a pack of these building beautiful buildings. Now, uh, this is Tolerone Porte Milot. Uh, you can see that it has 600 uh, people capacity. Now, let's compare this to the vanilla building that we already did uh, just a few seconds ago. We have the price of this building would be 107,000. Uh, the only thing comparable is the probably building from the Ukrainian DLC pack. It is a little bit cheaper. I would leave this to you guys to judge. Is it really, uh, should it be really cheaper than the than the Dnipro building but in my book if you like something like this it's still gonna be really expensive to build compared to most of the vanilla buildings and mods as well so anyway for more details you have a link in the description of the video i give you invidious and colonial congo first of april no i'm not gonna read it you're gonna have to go and there's a story behind this this is colonial for your early start lovers uh colonial congo map Right, so this is map of Congo. We're gonna go and check the user interface straight away. It's uh, roughly um, the same borders as today's Congo is. Now you have several border crossings on this map. I'm just gonna real quickly cover them. There's a Soviet border crossing there. It's a kind of like a port. I think also the Soviet border with, I believe it will be Angola in this part of the direction. Yeah, I see Angola. Of course, there's a NATO border crossing close by as well. So you won't have any issues with, uh, you know, you're, you're well connected to the border. Uh, both of them have a railroad crossing as well. You start with a couple of farms, storage facilities, uh, the grain silos and this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of this that you can actually use. And there's a couple of villages in the jungle, in the rainforest. Right, so let's go and check out the map itself. If we go and check out Congo map, what, would we, what are we talking about resource-wise? You can see that there's coal, especially the mountains in the east. Iron would be also centrally east located, most of it. You do have some uh, 
some spread around the central part of the map as well. Uh, oil is around the villages that you can see here in the central part of the map, so not too far from the border crossing. Uranium is really far in the other side of the map. And then we have a bauxite next to the, I believe that this is a Congo River. Uh, a lot of bauxite there, so you shouldn't have any problems if you develop your infrastructure. Now, suggestion of course that to play without seasons here because uh, snow is not common in Congo. <laughs> <laughs> not impossible, but not common. Uh, there's Mount Congo as well. I'm not sure if Mount Congo ever has snow, but um, it's a pretty high mountain. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for Mount Monday. This is some of the mods that caught my eye and I wanted to present it to you. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, the notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, ta -dun -dun you have the description of the video. Um, happy Monday, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.